hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will allow the player to pick up any rifle and then according to that rifle price we will deduct the money from the player bank account or you can say from this player money variable which is right here so for this first of all we need to open the weapon shop and as you know we already added the tags to each of the rifle now after the tag we need to add the script as well so if you go inside the scripts then the pickup and inventory then select all of these weapons drag and drop the pickup script now we need to fill all of these variables one by one so let's select the first one which is weapon one which are these two handguns for this the item price will be for example 70 dollars and the item radius will be two you can increase this according to your game okay but i will leave this as two and this radius will be the radius in which when the player enters then the player will be able to pick up that specific rifle okay so after this it needs the item tag and this item tag will be this one okay which is handgun pickup so we will assign the tag as well so we will say handgun pickup and make sure that this name is similar to the tag which you have added right there okay or else it will not work so i will leave this as handgun pickup and then right here we need a reference to our player script so for that we will simply drag and drop the player game object and it will automatically select this player script because whenever we pick up any rifle we want to decrease this player money according to the player not the player the rifle item price okay for example this is what 70 dollars so whenever we pick this the player money money will be decreased okay by 70 okay so after the handgun let's do it for the shotgun the shotgun will be 120 dollars for example the item radius will be 2 and the item tag will be shotgun pickup after this we need to add the player so drag and drop the player in there and actually we can select now the third and fourth weapon and drag and drop the player okay and now let's fill the third weapon because we have completed the second one which is the shotgun so let's click on the third one right here the third one is the uses so it will be a little bit more expensive for example 150 dollars item radius as you know two the item tag will be using pickup that's it after this here is the weapon 4 which is the rocket launcher so for this the item price will be 250 dollars and the item radius will be 2 item tag will be bazooka pickup and that is it so now we have added the item tags price radius and everything so now we are ready to move on after completing this open up the pickup item script and right here we have these variables which we fill okay now after this let's add a start function and inside the start function what we will do whenever this script is called or you can say whenever the game start we want to find all of the item tags okay and we will assign that item tags to this item to pick up game object let me first of all type the code and then i will explain to you how this will work so you will say item to pick up you will then say game object dot find with tag and the tag will be the item tag okay now what this will do that as you know that this item to pick up is the game object and we don't know that which item we are picking so by using the find with tag we will know that which item we are picking because if we see our weapon shop right here as you know we have already added the item tag so now as i told you we don't know which item we are picking then by using the 
item tags we will know that which item we are picking so for example if the item tag is handgun pickup then we will know by the tag that yes this is the handgun and this is the item price and etc etc so we have assigned that item tag to this item to pick up and now we know that which item we are picking inside our environment or game if you say okay so once we know that which item we are picking after that let's go ahead and create the update function and inside this update function we first of all want to check that if we are inside the item radius or not as you know we give the item radius to each rifle as 2 so now we will check that if the player is inside the item radius or not for that we will say if vector 3 dot distance then we will say transform dot position this will be the rifle position then we want the player position as well so we will say player dot transform dot position and then we will say that if the item position and the player position is less than the item radius okay it means that if the player is inside the item radius then what we will do we will allow the player to pick up that rifle using the F button okay but before doing that for now let's just print out a message that the player is inside the radius okay just for testing it out so let's do that click back to unity click on player let's activate the player script okay and then inside the animator let's add the player controller okay and now if we play the game the player will be able to walk and run as you can see okay so now you can see the console for now the console is empty now if we try to walk near the rifle okay as you can see now it shows that inside the radius and now if we get out of the radius as you can see it is not updating now if you come inside the shotgun radius as you can see we are inside the shotgun radius and the same for the uz so as you can see now the radius is working perfectly fine so now we can simply remove that and let's pick up the rifle guys let me tell you one thing that by using this player script reference we are getting the player position because if you see in the game as you know right here we have the player script attached to this player main game object okay so by using the script we are getting the player position right here okay simple as that now in here let's uh, add a if condition again and inside this if condition we will say input dot get key down and we will say that if that button is the F key then what we will do now we don't want the player to pick up that rifle instantly of course we need some other restrictions as well and that restrictions will be the money okay so we will say that again inside this if condition we will add another if and then we will say that if the item price is greater than the player dot player money okay then what we will do it means that if the player don't have enough money to buy any rifle then in that case what we will do actually we will show uh, some ui that you don't have enough money or you are broke etc etc you can show whatever you want but for now what i will do is that in the console we will show that you are broke that's it okay and then later in the video we will be adding the ui but for now we can show that you are broke that's it 
and then we will add a else condition so in the else it means that if the player has the money then what we will do we will allow the player to pick up that rifle so right here we will say that if the item price is equal equals to the handgun whoops okay handgun pickup okay so as i told you by using the item tag we will be knowing the difference between the rifles okay if it is the handgun shotgun or the bazooka etc etc okay so we will say that if the item tag is equals to the handgun pickup okay it means that if the player is inside the handgun radius okay then what we will do we will first of all deduct the money from the player okay so we will say that player dot player money minus equals to item price and as you know for each rifle we have a different item price number so that item price will be deducted from the player money and after this we will say debug dot log and we want to show the item tag that whatever item we pick okay so we will show that in the console as well okay so this if condition was for the handgun now let's do it for the other rifles as well now we will say that else if if the item tag is equals to the shotgun pickup and guys make sure that your item tag matches the tags which you added to the weapons okay if we click on this weapon then this is the tag and right here as well so now if it is the shotgun pickup then what we will do we will type the same thing as we did for the handgun so we will copy that and paste it right down below after this let's do it for the other rifles as well so we will say that item tag if that is equals to the use the pickup then we will copy and paste the code again in there and then after this we will say if the item tag is now equals to the bazooka pickup then copy and paste the code again so this will deduct the money from the player according to the rifles and for now we don't have any inventory to show the rifles and also to pick out that rifle as well so that's why we are just deducting the uh, money okay the item price from the player money and we are showing that whatever item we pick as you can see so after doing this now the next thing which we will be doing is that whenever we pick up any rifle we want to remove that rifle from our environment so in order to do that we will say item to pick up dot set active false okay so if for example if we pick up the handgun then we will disable that handgun from our environment and then it will be simply disappear okay so let's now save this script and get back to unity now as you can see the item price and everything is added and accordingly if we click on player money for now let's just make the player money as zero and let's play the game let's go near the handgun now if we for example if you try to pick it up let me open up the console okay if we pick it up as you can see it shows that you are broke but as you can see the item still disappear and this is due to this code because this disabling code should be inside this else condition okay after this else if we will 
cut that from there and paste it inside this else condition so make sure that you do the same and now if we play the game let's get near the item okay the handgun i've tried to pick it up as you can see it shows that you are broke because the item price is greater than the player money as you can see it shows you are broke on every rifle now let's close the game and make the player money as to fifty dollars okay save the game let's play it again now let's get near the handgun let's pick it up and as you can see the player money is being decreased okay by 70 and now as you can see it shows handgun pick up so it means that we pick up the handgun and as you can see the handgun is being disabled from the environment now let me check the shotgun price it is 120 dollars so we will be able to pick this up okay let's pick it up and now as you can see the player money is 60 dollar and as you can see it shows shotgun pickup now if you try to pick up the uzi it will show that you are broke because now the player money is not enough to buy the other two rifles okay so it means that our picking system is working perfectly fine and now in the next video we will show all of these pick up rifles in our inventory so for that i will catch you guys in the next video